Everything Top 10 is proud to present the Top 10 Things You Didn't Know About Julius Randle. Number 10. Randle was considered the number one power forward and number four basketball player overall coming out of high school in 2013 by Recruiting Nation. A broken foot during his senior season caused a slight setback for the Preston Wood Christian player. Despite the foot injury in high school, Randall was one of three high school players in 2012 to be selected to play on the Team USA under-18 team. Randall finished the 2012 FIBA Americas under-18 championship as the team's leading scorer and rebounder. The power forward was USA's youngest player on the team, but averaged a team high of 14.2 points and 6.6 .6 rebounds a game. Number 9. Randall's mother, Carolyn Kyles, is a former University of Texas women's basketball player, which explains where the power forward got some of his skills. Since his mom was a single mother, Randall believes he benefited from this growing up as his mom always had him around good people to influence him. His mom is 6 feet 2 inches tall, and for a large part of Randall's youth, was taller than him. It wasn't until around the time Randall reached high school at Preston Wood Christian that he overtook her in the height department. His mom, who worked as a mattress salesperson, often schooled Randall on the court and never took it easy on him. Today, Randall wears the number 30 jersey, as it was the same number that his mom wore during her career. Number 8. The New York Knicks star showed plenty of basketball promise while in elementary school. His potential was so high at the age of 11 that he played for an AAU team out of Dallas that was funded by billionaire Kenny Trout. Randall's team traveled to AAU basketball games outside of Dallas by private jet. The team even stayed in luxury five-star hotels for road games and tournaments. Randall had a positive relationship with Trout, who took the future NBA player to see Dallas Mavericks games. The youngster was able to sit courtside and dissect his favorite players during games. Number 7. In November of 2017, Randall was part of a controversy in the state of Kentucky after a number of high school basketball players were suspended by the state's athletic association. Athletic directors from multiple schools self-reported violations under the Kentucky High School Athletic Association's Bylaw 9 which restricts basketball and football players from participating in organized contests of those sports outside of school from the first day of school through the school's last scheduled contest, including postseason. So, what happened to cause multiple promising Kentucky high school students to be suspended? The then LA Lakers forward and ex-Kentucky basketball player had filmed a scene for a documentary series called streetball stories while in Lexington. One scene was filmed showing Randall playing basketball against a group of high school players. The scene was labeled an organized scrimmage. Despite the kids being a part of a TV show and not an actual scrimmage, they were suspended for their respective team season opening games. Number 6. In 2017, while playing with the LA Lakers, Randall got a reality check from former team executive Magic Johnson. The Laker legend informed Randall that it was time to get in shape and take his diet and fitness much more seriously. Johnson gave Randall a challenge to get in the best shape of his career. Since then, Randall has taken his diet far more seriously than ever before. Conditioning and nutrition are now major parts of Randall's preparation for the NBA season. Overnight, Randall went from eating whatever foods he wanted, including fast food and sweets, to being far more health conscious thanks to a private chef making all of his meals. Number 5. Long before Randall was playing for the LA Lakers and with Kobe Bryant, he was throwing it down for Preston Wood Christian in Plano, Texas. In 2012, Randall scored 47 points against Bishop Lynch in a first-round playoff game. Randall led the school to three state championships. Number 4. On game days, Randall's preparations are not as strange as some of his NBA colleagues. Still, he has his own method to build up to tip off. After waking up in the morning, 
Randall completes a meditation and devotional session to prepare his mind for the day. He takes part in a shoot-around before returning home for a large breakfast, which often includes an omelet, a nap, more meditation, a pre-game snack, and a session with a physiotherapist then has him prepared to head to the arena. Once at the arena for the game, the prep work continues with a cold and hot bath to get the body ready for the rigors of an NBA game. Number 3. Randall has been in a long-term relationship with Kendra Shaw, a former Miss Kentucky beauty pageant contestant since the two attended the University of Kentucky. On June 20, 2016, Randall proposed to Shaw, and in August of 2017, the couple tied the knot. The NBA star proposed to Shaw during a romantic vacation to the gorgeous Greek island of Santorini. Shortly after Randall popped the question, Shaw took to Instagram to show off the ring to her many followers. The couple's ceremony welcomed a variety of friends, family, and NBA players. Prior to getting hitched, Randall and Shaw had their first child, Caden J, in December of 2016. Number 2. Like her NBA-playing husband, Shaw was raised by a single mother. She grew up in Kentucky to become a success in her own right. Shaw graduated from the University of Kentucky with a fashion design and merchandising degree. After helping Randall get settled in the NBA, Shaw began her own fashion brand known as Color. The combination of Randall playing in New York and Shaw being in the fashion industry has worked well for the couple. Number 1. Growing up in Texas, Randall's mother gave him $50 a week in allowance money to spend on whatever was needed. His mother was cleaning his room one day, and she found a shoebox under his bed filled with $800. When asked where he had gotten the money, Randall told his mother that he had saved nearly all of the money she had given him to use in case of a family emergency. That's all, folks. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video and comment down below which NBA player you want to see us make a video about next. Make sure you subscribe to us as well. Also, tell us if you think Julius Randle is good enough to lead the New York Knicks to a championship. See you next time.